Today, President Trump declared houses of worship essential, urging them to reopen for services this weekend. Ohio never closed its houses of worship, but many say they will not reopen until it's safer. Two News reporter Adam Reif is live in the newsroom to explain how churches here are navigating the coronavirus. Weeks ago, Governor DeWine asked churches to stop in-person services, and many heeded that request. Now, the Catholic Church is preparing to restart masses this Monday, but many other churches in our area tell me they'll likely remain closed for some time. I cannot open the building with the numbers that we're still seeing. Many of the churches that are still navigating the coronavirus pandemic have not made a decision on when to reopen. We want to be respectful citizens. We also want to be responsible with, um, you know, the people, especially the most vulnerable out there. Tracy Wright says the majority of the Discover Point church members want to come back, but others are still cautious. There's concern. Obviously, there are some families that have the high risk situations. Um, and they're way more cautious. The president's call to reopen houses of worship this weekend brought more questions about how to keep people apart. But there is a way to social distance like you are here in places of worship. Crossroads Church has been active online while its Miami Valley locations remain closed. In a statement, Crossroads said, quote, our buildings will remain closed until we are certain that opening them will be healthy for our people, both spiritually and physically. The Catholic Church is planning to reopen soon. The Archdiocese of Cincinnati says public masses will begin Monday. The faithful will be encouraged to wear masks. The number of people in the church may be regulated and there will be no physical contact. But many churches are still waiting to see Proof the tide has turned. What I'm waiting to see is the numbers for particularly Montgomery County to go down. And I'm waiting to see our ICU numbers and hospitalizations go down. Now, Tracy Wright tells me it's been a challenge helping members navigate this pandemic as so many people have been affected in some way. Some are small business owners who are losing their livelihoods. Many are people who are unemployed and still more have contracted the virus themselves. In the newsroom, Adam Rive, 2 News, working for you.